Naomi says hello, everyone. Are we back? Can you hear us? Hello. Um, can you hear us at all? Hello, hello, hello. That fixed it, says Bethany. Okay. All right, let's we use this. Okay, everybody's good. Okay, all's All right, sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, apparently our microphone and our um, webcam don't play nicely together. It's okay. So I'm going to try to replicate this. And and I just wanted to show you guys, this is how... Happy solstice, Ellen. This is how you can, as they say, steal like an artist. You can see something and go, I like that and then apply something similar to your art. It's not theft because you're not copying one-to-one, -one, you're being inspired by another artist. And so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I looked at this and I go, this looks like these kind of shapes. I'm gonna take something similar and I'm gonna try to do that. And then I'm gonna put this pattern, this uh, underneath it, like That's that. That's one of your favorite ones. Yeah. So let's do that, let's. Get this yeah, lined up. First day of winter. So hello everybody and happy winter solstice. Hello again from London. Hello from the Netherlands. Oh, come on, stop moving. Wow, France. Good morning. Will you read this comment, please? I love your art. You inspire me every single day. That's Slice the Grand. Oh, thank you. We read it. We read it. Hey, Jamie Brown says good morning, my friends. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Hey, Battle Brooks. Good morning, Scott and Donna. Are you prepared for the bitter cold we're about to be hit with? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to go to the grocery store and stock up on some food just in case. I'm sure she'll be the only one doing it, too. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Everybody's like, bless you. Art is always my favorite. Okay, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be the entire, like, our whole section of the United States is just supposed to be, like, frigid. Everybody's going to get this super Arctic blast. Just in time for Christmas. Um, <laughs> literally 11 p.m. for me, past my bedtime. Funny. All right, so we got that shape. Now we're going to add a couple of our own. Oh, hello from Great Britain. It's 3.11 there. Cheers. It's tea time in Britain. Hello. So I'm just matching this line here. I'm going to curve this like that. And so now, where's my, remember these pencils? Remember these pencil erasers? I do. Okay. Enough of you. So now we have that, and then let's add a little bit of the same thing here. You've inspired me to draw flowers. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Are you in short sleeves? Aren't you cold? I would at least wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> no, it's really warm in the Hobbit hole. Yeah. When we have the heat on upstairs, um, it's really warm. The Hobbit hole just warms up very quickly. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a very nice, toasty, warm place to be in the house. And then we should probably add one more down here. Sending love from the UK. I love your videos, dude. Oh, thank you. Wow, hello from Qatar. 22 um, Celsius here. Okay, and since this is a line here, we're probably going to need to add... Oh, Jamie's in deliver the baked goods mode. That. So that is going to be our shape. Oliver what do you guys think? Know. Oliver, I'd like to know how you feel about gay people. Oh, I love them. Just like I love everybody. He really does. It's kind of nauseating. 
He loves everybody. So this is the shape with the little texture inside. And we're doing a similar shape with this texture inside. So now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. This book just does not want to. Scott, how are you? I'm good. I want to know how you are. Multiple people do. I am very good, thank you. People are having a birthday. Happy birthday. Happy uh, Wednesday. And happy winter solstice. And happy winter solstice. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to have to... Go do this. Scott, I think. Brush, brush your eraser shavings away from the paper with a pink brush, or is that a makeup brush or another type of brush? Just curious. Oh, it, it is. Maybe it was a paintbrush at one point. I don't know. It's. I've had it for probably thirty years. It's just a very soft makeup <laughs> brush kind of thing. Love from the Philippines. Yeah, one day use Indian art supplies, please. We are um, trying to get our hands on some things, but the same way that you have a problem getting stuff from us, um, we have a problem getting stuff from you. Yeah. So, um, there you go. We're working on it. Um, onion bagels, if your son gets bagels. Yeah, yeah, I already told him. So... We also uh, got some good news that we should be able to announce uh, where the uh, the donations from the the Grabby set are going to be going. So we'll be doing that, announcing that soon. Correct. That was actually very exciting. Yeah, to the LGBTQ uh, community. Correct. Hello from Ireland. Hello. All right, so I'm going to make... Have you ever watched the studio give me films? Uh, I, I watched one of maybe one or two of them. It wasn't really my cup of tea, speaking of which. Um, we will not be doing a live on Christmas because Christmas is on Sunday. Yeah. Um, and we go live Monday to Friday, but we will go live the very next day, which is Monday, the day after Christmas. And we do have a special video coming out today with Santa Claus. Yeah, you guys have to check for that. What do you think? Should I do something like that? Let's try something like this, where I take this shape. I'm going to have to hold it down. Um, Chris G is having a bit of trouble with her drawing. Can't seem to draw her teeth. Do you think you could give me a few tips? Um, yeah, teeth are one of those things that you don't want to do each tooth. Um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can make something Art Nouveau-y out of this. And while you do that, I will. Um... So teeth are, if you've got a smile, Right. If you draw like the gums, and then the you know every little tooth that goes in, I'm doing this very quickly. But if you do that, that that's what you do for like say a villain or a monster but if you want it to look nice what you do is you give the indication of the teeth just a little bit like that 
that's the best way to do it. You know, if you need to do a little bit of this, you can do that. Sometimes you can add a little bit of gum like that. Can you guys see that okay? Mm -hmm. We can see it. But you don't want to draw every little tooth, every little crack, every little shine, every little shadow. You want to just give just an indication of it. Let, let the mind fill in the blanks because that looks much cleaner than that. Like I said, unless you're doing like a monster or a gangster or you, their teeth is, you know, their teeth are gold or something like that. And you want, then yeah, you can do that. But otherwise you want to stay away from getting into the weeds, so to speak, and doing all of the detail. Um, have you ever checked out art from Hiro, um, Hirohiko Arakai? No, I have not. All right. Yeah. Hammett put snacks and drinks out for the delivery drivers, but underestimated how cold it was and all the bottles of water and the soda froze. Oh, gosh. Okay, why it does this do out. that and then this doesn't? Did I do this backwards? Um, your art is amazing. Love from the Philippines. Oh, thank you. Um, hey, we have a box TV this morning. How are you? Box TV says hello. Hello. Um, when you let's see, you showed the brush, right? That you swatted stuff away with. It was just Sorry. A paintbrush. Um, Eraser shavings. Yes, I did. I did. Okay. So that um, does that. Scott is on Instagram. He is at S Dog of Art. Same as here. Um, yeah, if you go to the about screen. on my page, okay, so this is what's going on. There's a space there. You can't see that because you're off screen with whatever's on that side. Thank you. Thank you. So there's a space here, and there's no space here because apparently I made more space. Um, okay, well, it'll be what it's going to be, right? Thanks, Lily Check. Um, I am a big fan of your drawings. That's Jay. Thank you. All right, so let's be before we go and do any more, let's finish her. Everybody always wants to know how much money you spend on art supplies every month. Well, I spent $200 on colored pencils to do a set, to do a test um, this month. I bought Posca's last month. That was about $100. Um, I spent $200 on the film and developing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... I, I, I normally wouldn't spend that much money, but I'm doing it for the videos and yeah. for science, you know? Normally he's very cheap and he only buys things when the tube literally runs out of ink or paint or whatever. So what is your recommended starter brand for gouache or watercolor? I like Windsor Newton. Um, Windsor Newton has a cotton brand. Uh, oh, that's the student version. Yeah. Um, gouache. I like Windsor and Newton as well, um, but if you want to, the Hemi gouache set is cheaper. Also, if you're just a beginner, you can try out. You could try the the grabby one, yeah. That's a whole set of everything. Twenty five dollars. Start with for twenty five bucks, and that's very very reasonable. All right, so I'm going to move these things out of the way. I'm going to finish painting her. And I'm gonna move my tea. Okay, Steph Nerd's mom knows that all those the loops are triggering for her, and she bent over her shoulder to watch you do all the things. <laughs> These drives are crazy. <laughs> it's cute. Hi, Steph's mom. Hola. Oh, there you go. Um, what are your favorite paint brushes? Um, right now I'm enjoying the the Etcher Lab ones. And that's not cheap. No, but they are if you, you know, they're five dollars each. Mm -hmm. They just come in a set of ten. Mm -hmm. So they're not, you know, There's expensive a, like the ones you got. If you guys are interested in any of the art supplies that Scott uses, they're on the um, our website, sobart.com, and there's a list there of all the art supplies he uses. And also, um, there's um, 
a list on there of res in the resources section of all the stuff he's tried. So if there's something that you guys want to see that he uh, that you think he might have tried, or if you're wondering if he's tried something, check there. Um, and some of them they give us codes for, so you guys can get discounts on. So um, mm -hmm. and anything you get a discount code for, we don't we're we're not like an affiliate. We have them give you a bigger discount. So I'm just throwing that out there because everybody maybe thinks we're getting paid all this money, but we're only taking advertising money from YouTube, which is good. Um, where did you learn how to draw and improve your art, and how did you start off first? Um, I started off copying Spider-Man comics. Hold on, I'm just recording something at the same time. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, and then I... Um, Got into other comics and whatnot, and then I discovered painters and went to art school. I went to the Academy of Art. I was an illustration major, and uh, that became, I got a career in video games and did, did that for a while, did animation for TV and film, but the whole while I was doing anim uh, uh, artwork for comic books at night. Um, I didn't take up watercolor until my 40s. I'm 54 that is, now. That is true. And in between your color pencil phase and your watercolor phase, you had you took a break from. I uh, took 10 years Why? off. Yeah, I was just doing animation, digital, and um, uh, I just I was doing comic books digitally, and I just was tired of the colored pencils. Um, what's your favorite color? Payne's gray, this color. Do you have any advice for chrome watercolors? I'm getting some for Christmas. I don't. I'm really not a fan of metallic colors, personally, so I, I tend to avoid them. Um, where can people show you their art? Uh, usually, we have a Discord server. You can post there and just... Um, you can you can tag me if you want to. Mm -hmm. Any ideas on drawing? I have like zero ideas myself. The answer to anything you're going to ask about what to draw today is a red panda. If you want to draw something Christmas, you draw a red panda in a Santa hat. Um, let's see. Good afternoon from Poland. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, I'm a little off today, guys. Um, nobody's fault. I don't feel sick. I'm just a uh, little off today. Blow dryer. That's a great Sounds idea. Um, and I love your art. It makes me happy when I see it. That's Jack. Oh, That's thank you. Scott streams a decent amount, and I'm thankful for him streaming for our entertainment. Oh. Well, you guys hang out with me. That's the way I look at it. Um, oh, no, I was late to the stream. The art piece looks so stunning so far. You're really oh, not thanks. late, and I'll tell you why. Because Scott started half of this on Monday. Yeah, it, so, it just kind of... Yeah. You know, I was like, well, should I finish it? Huh? You're, we're not all the way on the screen. Okay, where are we? See, we're here, we cut off. I need you to go down and then over a little bit. Now, oh, there you go, thank you. Okay. That was perfect, so we can see the whole thing now. Um, so he started this on Monday. Um, you just, all you missed this, this morning so far was him adding, you can see the very faint pencil lines of an Art Nouveau background. Scott, do you ever draw bodybuilders? I usually draw bronze to golden age bodybuilders. Um, I don't know the age of the bodybuilders. You know, like like what age you, you're talking about? Like bronze, is it like Schwarzenegger, Ferrigno, and, you know, whatever. But um, I grew up sketching bodybuilders all the time. I used to collect all the magazines, all the magazines and... Um, yeah, so that, that is something I absolutely love to do. 
I haven't done it in decades, though. Is this one of your original characters? No, no, no. Um, this is, uh, I tagged the model um, in both the lives, but this is the model. And I think it's Siri from The Witcher, but I just decided I just wanted to sketch it and just do something. Some days you just kind of want to do something a little Art Nouveau-y or a little this or a little that. And so, it's yeah, it's a mood thing. Um, are you excited for Christmas? It's in three days. I asked for art supplies. Oh, <laughs> that's Daniel's sketch art. That's cute. I love yeah, that. I think it'll be a good Christmas. It sure will be for our boys. <laughs> um, yeah, Oh, you know what? You probably got, Dion, you probably got a notification for the first stream. And then this one, we had some... Um, Technical difficulties. Thank you. I was, the word escaped me. And uh, yes, so now we are back. This is the second stream of the morning. So sorry about that. Yeah, I deleted the old one, so. Yeah. We have painted, and by, whenever I say we've painted, please know it's not me painting. It's Scott. I think, it's we, all, Scott. I think we all know that. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, he did paint Wednesday. He painted Wednesday um, yeah. on the Wednesday series in two different mediums. Go back a, a, about a week. Maybe more. What is your recommended starter brand for gouache? Depends on your budget. Um, I, I like Windsor Newton, but that's the professional brand. And you'll spend $8 a tube uh, or more. So if you want to, try the Hemi gouache. Mr. Clock is back. Our son came home from college and restarted the grandfather clock. So we now have Mr. Clock. Um, Josiah says, hi, Scott. Merry Christmas. What are you drawing today? Uh, I am just drawing uh, an Art Nouveau kind of thing today. I just wanted to doodle. Doodle. Um, let's see. Thank you for making videos. I'm your biggest fan. I love Thank you for hanging out with us. Do you like Wednesday? If you do, what do you like about her? Um, I, 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 we watched one episode and it was okay. We didn't watch the rest of it. So, um, he didn't do all this in 20 minutes. We started this on Monday. This is a continuation from Monday. Mm -hmm. Jamie has for Legos for Christmas. Woo -hoo! <laughs> it's the hardest piece you've ever done. Probably the animal crackers movie poster. It was huge. It, and it looked like. At what age did you start to draw? Uh, probably six or seven. That's the movie poster. And it's like 30 inches by 40 it's, inches. It's enormous. I'm enormous. Um, what paper do you use, honey? Like what? This is Canson XL paper. This is my cheap paper that I'll use for stuff like commissions and just playing around on lives. And then I have uh, the arches paper that I will use only on special occasions because it's very expensive, like two, three dollars a sheet, a page. So it just depends on my mood, depends on, you know, what my intent is. Um, if you want to tag Scott, you can tag him here on um, YouTube. You can go to our Discord. You can tag him on Instagram. I know TikTok is not um, allowed in India. And... Um, you can also tag him, let's see, you're on uh, Instagram, you're on, where else could they tag you? Uh, TikTok, Instagram, and here are the only places I'm currently posting anymore. Um, we do have a dog. Her name is Arwen. She's staring at me right now because she wants to go outside and it's freezing and I don't want to let her out. Very good. Um, we did not follow the World Cup. Um, we had no dog in the race. Do you do abstract art? No, I was never very good at that. Um, I like usually like to draw with pencil. Are there any recommendations for a beginner to watercolor? Um, yeah, I mean there are there are beginner sets. We've got a couple videos on that um, in in our uh, product testing and art hacks, and if you just go to the website. But um, yeah, watercolor is really easy to get into. the The most important thing is the paper. Is your favorite part of the thing to draw hair? Yeah, yeah. What's your least favorite animal to draw? 
Oh, um, spiders. Okay. Oh. You are my inspiration to start doing art. I feel like I don't know where to start practicing, though. Do you have any tips, please? Um, yeah, just make a journal because a lot of people don't know what to draw. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you shouldn't be drawing out of your head. You should be drawing the world around you. So keep a journal and just sketch the world around you. If I hadn't seen your videos, I wouldn't have any drawing anything. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, glad. Um, I am broke, but I try my best on art. You know what? You don't have to be rich to make art. Yeah. Trust us. We've been broke our whole lives. Did you know that Proskas also made a brush tip for me? I've heard it, but I don't believe it. And do you still have to shake it? <laughs> so that's oh, what I want to know. Did not like that. Blow dryer. Hmm. Well, I want to say Snape is the, my favorite villain because for the most part, he kind of was a villain. And then my favorite hero would be Gandalf. Watching your videos always inspires me to learn more. I'm a pretty average artist, so seeing your works always inspires me to work on my art and do better. Well, from one average artist to another, I commend you. And the name of that person is the Mighty Meow Meows. <laughs> Can I just tell you how cute that is? Oh my God, I love that. Um, that's so cute. Scott, you're not good at drawing ever. Did you know when you practice long enough, you start to get better? That's yeah. true. Um, let's see. You guys answered that one. Somebody got the cotton set. That's very exciting. What's your favorite art supply to you? Just asking. I like watercolor. What kind of color pencils do you use? I use Prismacolor, but I'm going to be testing. I don't know if it's this week or next week, but I'm going to be testing Karen Dosh, Faber Castle, mm -hmm. and the Blick brand. I have some upstairs that are different too. You could throw those. Yeah, which by the way, we're going to reach out to Blick today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am inspired completing my project and watching your stream. Thank you very much. Um, this is just a model that Scott pulled off the internet. Yes. Um, hello from Scotland. It's cold. Hello. I wish I was in Scotland being cold. I love that. Yes. Hello from Japan. I'm not Japanese. My mom's in the Air Force. Oh, well, That's hello. Pretty cool. You get to travel all over the world. Yeah. Can you do more digital art? I am trying to find time to do that. Yes. Um, did we talk about beginner watercolor? because he's soft. He usually draws with a pencil. Recommendations for a beginner to watercolor. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, that art piece really gives me dry ad vibes. Oh, nice. Um, are you an introvert? <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> oh, my God. If he could never leave the Hobbit hole again, he would. Yeah, I very rarely leave the Hobbit hole. How much did you get for your Swiss medic bag on eBay? Um, I didn't get anything. I had to pay. Uh, it was around one hundred eighty dollars, I think. But that was about maybe seven years ago, six, seven years ago. There are people making them now, um, and there are um, there are other bags you can buy. You don't have to buy something that expensive. I got a blow dry. Hold on. <laughs> misunderstanding I, there's people who join the live all the time so you might ask that question and think oh my god i probably should have heard this already but somebody else might be joining and they might not know that he didn't just start this like 20 minutes ago. yeah yeah so it's totally cool and i'm happy to answer that it's not a big deal and, and if anything it helps everybody else know when they're just coming in that oh i didn't miss like an hour and a half's worth of stuff already so. yeah you're good you're good 
Emma is here and is off for two weeks. Woo, woo! Yay, Emma! We are so happy for you. You deserve it, girl. Emma is, um, Emma G is one of our mods, and she's the mom of three, most hardworking person I know. She's running constantly. She's Isn't she good. also, like, yeah. mayor of the town or something? She is mayoress of the, her town in the UK, where she, where she and her family live, yes. Her husband is mayor. She's yeah. mayoress. She is going constantly and heads up a bunch of stuff for her kids and she, and she has to polish a crown and, and, and do parades know, and wave all to the people. And, and make the tea and wave yeah. all the time. No, no. We love her. We love you. Emma. We're glad you have time. Blow dryer. Teachers, some of your work, and now they watch your videos to learn all the time. Keep up oh. the content; it inspires us and keeps us helps us to be better artists. Thank That's you so, so much! Cute. Oh my gosh! And That's hello cool. to your art teacher if you're watching. Oh, that's great. What are Scott's favorite colored pencils? Prismacolor, but again, I'm going to be trying new ones. Yeah, at the moment they're Prismacolors, but since we have like six, things colors, could change. It could change. Blow Hey, Erica. Sound off. I'm trying to, I'm trying to type. Hold up. Okay. There she is. Okay. Erica, um, EKA Art is one of our friends who joined us from um, TikTok from like 100 years ago when we were very, very, very first starting all this. Um, can you make a tutorial for a beginner? Yes, they are all in the Art Hacks mm -hmm. playlist. playlist. Um, D Zonicus asked for Fujifilm XT 200 for Christmas. Ooh. Devin asked for the Artex acrylic markers for Christmas. Oh, well. you guys are great. Um, let's see. I want to learn how to draw because of you. Do you have any tips to start drawing with alcohol markers? Um, yeah, there's a couple videos on it. Um, my last one, I talk about working from light to dark, which is what I do. Uh, I'm sure there's many different ways of doing it. Um, that's just how I do it. But go ahead and watch that. And you can also watch the lives where I work with it. Mm -hmm. Lula's here. We are hugging our mugs very tight this morning, Lula. It is very cold outside. Um, where can I find the reference image in this drawing? Uh, I, I can post it um, if you guys would like. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, for, well, first I have to make sure it's not something I paid for. So um, I will do that because I did. I, 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 that's yeah. how I discovered this person was I, I bought the, I, I bought some um, photo reference and I want to make sure it's not part of that set. Yeah. So let him check and if he can post it, he'll post it. Yeah. Um, that same kind of medic bag goes on eBay for around three hundred and fifty dollars now. Wow. Yeah. Well, because I think people started buying them up. Um, so Sarah says, if you are using a reference photo, do you end up changing a lot of it because you aren't happy? I try to use a reference photo, then I change it because I don't like how it turns out. I, you know, yes and no. Um, here's the photo reference, and you know, I I add my own little style, but. It's close enough to where, honestly, it's not like I could say, yeah, this is an original piece. And so that's why it's um, like if I was going to make prints of it, what I would do is I would let them know. I would let the, 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 the model know uh, that I was going to do it, see if they want. Because I did buy the reference, so I don't think I would have to pay them anything. But I think I would, you know, at least let them know. Try. I always try to give people credit if I can. 
The problem is I have photo reference from 30 years ago that I got from magazines and stuff. So sometimes you just have no idea where the photo reference came from. And, and so if that's the case, you try to change it as much as possible. But in this case, I'm not doing this for a publisher. I'm not doing this for printing. I'm just doing this for fun. And in which case it is 100% totally fine. But I do tag the the models uh in the videos um the mods are correct scott uses the be creative uh sketchbook those are about 15 bucks right 15 bucks for yeah. a set of it's a sheet you know like a yeah. sketchbook of 30 they're, pages there you can find them on blick or you can try to find them on amazon they've been out everywhere for a long time they're having supply chain issues did you ever hear back from them no i never heard back from them okay mm -hmm. So um, I had a call into their salespeople to try to find out what was going on with them because we talk about them all the time. 100% um, cotton paper and everything. So I don't know. Um, I'm new to your channel. Can't help but ask, do you do art like full time? I'm make, like making commissions and stuff. I'm curious. Oh, um, I am doing art full time, but I don't do commissions anymore. I... Um... Yeah. I just that has a couple of other projects. Yeah, I like do take a lot of time. Animation and I'm working in animation and uh that's you know still mostly my bread and butter is that sorry guys, I have to the dog is uh requiring my attention of letting her out the door. I am door mom. All right, I think I have messed around with her enough. Since I'm getting colored pencils, what kind of paper should I use? Bristol board is usually pretty good. Um, yeah, it's about to get really cold, I know. Uh, will you try Posca markers again? Oh, I've done two videos on it already, but I, I think I'll keep them for details, not to try to make whole pieces of art with them. Where do we make your some away in Yeah, blow dryer. <laughs> Seen him dabbing the um, paints on there. All right, let's Boy, do. They want chaos. They want you to try pastas again. They want you to try <laughs> digital art again. And they want you to do art using your left hand, not your right hand. Oh, gosh. I know. Everybody's like, wants chaos today. All right, here we go. Let's... What piece of artwork that you created used the most mediums? Oh, I think if you look at like. Um the aurora video uh or the um sure there was another one where i kind of threw the kitchen sink at it oh i think it was olivia newton john video are ones where i wound up just doing colored pencils and watercolors gouache. and gouache and inks and you were a little cranky with those because you weren't like so you just threw everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that happens. It's okay. They want to see more ink drawings. Can we still use acrylic paint after it has frozen and thawed? I honestly don't know. I don't know. Lula wants to know if we're going to take a break off next week for the end of the year break. I don't think so. No. We're going to be going away for our anniversary, um, which will be the week after. So we won't be going live for our anniversary. Yeah. So um, we'll be here next week. Um, I'm sort of interested in watercolors, but watercolor paper is too expensive for me. Any alternatives? No, you need watercolor paper. This is mm -hmm. Canson XL. You can usually get for as cheap as $5 if you go to yeah. like a Michaels or something, you get a sale. If you're in the United States, you can find those on sale and you can get coupons for those. Um, even a mixed media pad, 
I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, you know, just it's just watercolor paper. I wouldn't do watercolor without watercolor paper. Just end of story. If you if you have to sacrifice something, get crappy brushes or or bad paint. Use Crayola paint. Uh, Crayola paint was really good on the paper. It was Yeah, um, but you know. Get get at least, um, you know, like a 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper. I would recommend Canson because it's the cheapest. That's what I'm using right now, and I, I, that that's what I would recommend. Honestly, I'm I'm just being honest. I, you don't want to hate your your you don't want to hate the experience of watercolors. Some people have had their art just. Um, they ripped up the um, the paper just got ripped up because it wasn't taking the watercolor at all. Yeah. Um, could we see more streams about other things? Can you elaborate on what other things? You yeah, like I mean, I did. About? Oh, streams, not not videos. Yeah, streams. Like right. what? I am unhappy um, with any this. tips for not ruining your posture. Like, I don't know. I'm standing right now. Yeah. I'm sitting on his kneeling chair. That helps. Um, I need to learn what advice do you have? Start with the art hacks playlist. Yeah. That will be a great place Just draw to start. draw what you see. Don't draw from memory. Your videos reminded me what art is all about. Have fun and not obsessing over how my sketch isn't perfect. And now I've started focusing on just having the best time as I make art. Oh, ah, that's great. Anna, that's fantastic. I love it. Um, Dilshan, um, tagged you, did a painting in your style and tagged you on Instagram. Hope you'd be proud. We oh, fantastic. For that. Um, what kind of zebra brush pen do you usually use? Uh, I use the very fine, this, this purple one. Uh, let's see. We are doing giveaways. Um, in January, we have gotten so many um, supplies from so many different companies, and they've been wonderful. And we're going to pass those along to you guys. And yes, I'm going to ship worldwide. Um, now, that being said, <laughs> that being said, there are some countries that have sent things back to me. Um, we're looking at so, you, India. Yeah, pretty much it's India, because for some reason they hate me. Um, so we've we've sent artwork, yeah. we've sent prints, we've yeah. sent things we've to sent India, things. and then we they get they get exactly. mangled up and then sent back. Exactly. So if any of you have any ideas or any recommendations we of how take to any recommendations you can possibly offer on how to get through the mail system there, um, because it is so difficult, and we know that a lot of you there really would love to get your hands on some good quality art supplies, and we'd love to share them with you. Um, but, uh, boy, oh boy, it's, it's been rough. Um, my mom helped me write this. I'm Klee and I'm under 10. Your art inspires me. You are very cool. I hope I can do pretty art too. Love your videos. Oh, With a little moon and little hearts. Okay. Very nice to meet you, Klee and mom. Oh, mom, thank you for letting Klee come on here and, and have some art time with us. And for encouraging them to make oh, art. Yes, we love that. We love that, love that, love that. Um, there is a video on how Scott found his art style. It's called My Art is a Mosaic. Um, um, Rana is getting into colored pencils. What kind of paper should Rana buy? Something thick, like a Bristol board. Oh, I'm asking for, Kevin is asking for watercolors for Christmas after seeing you use them. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. I think you'll love them. You guys, I'm so excited. I want you guys to like, let us know if you got art supplies for Christmas. I'm super excited for you. And I'm, um, I had lost the name of the person who asked, but somebody wants you to do like a 30 day thing because they just got a sketchbook and oops, the dog is staring at me. They got a sketchbook and they want to follow along with you and do another 30 day challenge. Okay. Yeah. So let us um, look into that for the new year. Come on. Come here. Who's the best? Who's the best? Oh, this is bad. I gotta get another one. Hold on. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I have to take care of the puppy here. 
Um, can you teach us how to use gouache? Um, um, and what ink brand is good for beginners? And did you use a template for the background? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if I could teach anybody anything, honestly. So, um, I mean, I could do videos, more videos with gouache if you guys want. But for now, um, yeah, we'll see. And then as far as uh, the ink brand I'm using, this is just a zebra brush pen. And I forgot the last question. So one of the things to uh, remember with Art Nouveau is that there are no sharp lines, sharp angles. That was Art Deco. And so everything is kind of curvy. And this is really rudimentary Art Nouveau kind of stuff. I mean, these shapes are not fantastic, but um, you know, I'm sure if, if you were Alphonse Mucha and you were doing this, you probably took your time to create the best shapes and to, to make sure that everything was perfectly centered. I just kind of slapped this down on Monday. And so this side's a little thicker than that side. And it's, it is what it is. You know, I eyeballed it. I use watercolor on the paper I use and it won't bleed. Does that mean it's watercolor paper? No, it's watercolor paper when it says it's watercolor paper. <laughs> uh, you know, that, I mean, you could, you could be using a Bristol board and it won't bleed, but it's not necessarily the best paper for watercolor, but it, it's not a, look, you can do watercolor on anything. You could do watercolor on tissue paper if you if that makes you happy. I, I'm just I've been asked what do I recommend, and that's what I recommend. But there, remember, art has no rules. You don't have to use watercolor paper on uh, water on watercolor watercolor on watercolor paper. You don't have to uh, paint with acrylic on a canvas um, there when people say you should do this or you should do that, they should always preface it by saying it's my recommendation or this is how I like to do it. Or I've, I've found that it works best on this. So remember there are no rules. If you find paper that you like and you find a medium that works on it, God bless you. Do it. Make art. I mean, so many things that I'm doing are things that traditional watercolor artists wouldn't do or people who study Art Nouveau would say isn't really great or whatever it is, but I'm doing what I want. And that's what art is, is finding something that makes you happy and then hopefully finding people who like that thing that you make that makes you happy. That's the perfect end result of being an artist is I, 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 I do something that makes me happy and that brings joy and happiness to other people. That's all an artist can ever ask for. Okay. Oh boy. So. Okay. So there are a lot of you asking a lot of questions about art supplies. Please go to the art supplies list on the website. It talks about what paper Scott uses. It talks about what pencils he uses. It talks about what paints he uses. It talks about everything that he uses there. Um, there's a video on drawing hands. Scott has drawn Stranger Things before. There's a video on that. Mm -hmm. All of the characters that I did. Um, oh um, let's see. There's a video on the cheap art materials that he used. Um, so there's that. Um, hi, good morning, Dana Mercury. Good morning. Um, I want to see a video of the making of the sketchbook cover. Uh, oh, there is one. Is there one? Yep. Where you made that? Okay, yep. so check the just just, just look in my cover. yeah just look in my um uh do a search in my videos for yeah sketchbook cover. There is no wrong ratio for water to water colors. It depends on what you want to do. Yeah. If you want more saturated colors, you use less water. If you want less saturated colors, you use more water. And I don't even paint, so there you go. Um, okay, so Jay, as far as suggesting you budget stuff that's available in India, that is impossible for me to do. And I will tell you why, because I don't know what's available in your country. Um, I wish I could tell you art supplies that were available in every single country around the world. 
um, but I can't. Um, so what we're trying to do is with the giveaway in January, we're trying to get supplies into the hands of people who either can't afford supplies or who would really like to try something new. Um, we would really like that giveaway to go to people who could really use the supplies. Um, and I'd like it to actually make it to the people who I'm shipping it to. Um, let's see. Um, all of the supplies that are in Scott's art supply list are the ones that he uses that he personally would recommend. Um, there is no best, but in his opinion, those are the ones he likes the best. Yeah. For what he uses. And then there's the product, the products we've tested. Correct which has the, the video so you can see how I felt about it. Cause there's yes. some stuff there. I'm like, wow, this was really good, mm -hmm. but I'm not using it. Yes. Because just for not, cause he doesn't use it for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, there's videos on watercolors and specialties for watercolors. Sarah is scared sometimes to use expensive paint that they have because I don't want to mess the painting up. Any tips of getting over that fear? Um, no, I do it too. For me, it's it's expensive paper. Uh, if I have expensive paper, I, I don't use it. But uh, at some point, you paint is, is disposable. Here's the thing I, I will tell you, at least with watercolor, I, 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 gosh, I'm doing a painting a day every day for a year, and I still have the same tubes of paint. It is, it is very rare that I will run out of paint. And these are not big tubes of paint. Um, here, I will show you. This is a tube of paint. I also have these, these littler tubes of paint. And these will last me at least a year. And these are expensive. These are upwards of $12 a tube. So paint will last you depending on how you work. Now, if you're using heavy body acrylics or something like that, and you're doing like a Van Gogh with a lot of texture and everything, then yeah, maybe those paints aren't going to last you as long, in which case I would find cheaper paint. But uh, sometimes you just, you got to use it. Um, let's see. I don't... You never did a video on anatomy, did you? I did. Did you? They want an updated video on anatomy. Um, I use watercolor. Let's see. Okay, we did that one. Scott's not going to do oil paintings. This is for Ashley Brown. He's not going to. I would highly recommend following Bethany Primrose. Um, she will be able to, um, she's going to start posting videos like every other day. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, and she'll, she makes beautiful, beautiful paintings with us. So what's your favorite art store to get supplies? Uh, Blick. Can you see the template that he's using for the background right now? Um, no, Scott does not do glass painting. I don't even know what glass, like painting on glass? I don't know. Um, you are both awesome. Bailey, <clears throat> thank you. That's thank you. Sweet. Um, yeah, we have a lot of Indian friends right here now. Hello, sir. I'm an art teacher in Canada. Impressed by your style. I'd really like to improve my portrait skills. I draw more architectural. That is Ryan. Oh, well, hi, Ryan from Canada. Welcome, welcome. Thanks I, for being an art teacher. Yeah, we world needs more art teachers. Yeah. Um, I, I would say, look how pretty that's coming out, though, huh? Yeah, it's very pretty. Um, I would say for portraiture, you know, I, as an art teacher, you should know it's going to be practice. And Basically, uh, what I do is I just find photos online and I just, when I was teaching myself gouache, I did a painting a day, you know, small. And, and small little four by fours or six by six. And I would do paintings a day. And that over a year taught me. And I, I can't recommend that enough to just dedicate yourself to a daily challenge to say, I'm going to do this much every day. And you'll see it come together. But the other thing is also don't, don't look at the outside outline of, I mean, just like you say you do architecture, you know that you don't draw the outside of, of the building. You're thinking of it in a, in a three-dimensional way. So, you know, when, you, when you're doing 
a, a portrait, you know, remember these are their shapes and it's going to have the center and the center. And this is where the brow is going to be, the eyes, the nose is going to be on that center point, the mouth, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to start to see that in a three-dimensional way. And then once you do, then, then you'll understand where to put the emphasis on the lines and on the, uh, the shadows and, uh, and whatnot. And so those are things that, that you'll, you'll start to see, but don't outline what you see. Think of it as a three-dimensional piece. I hope that helps. Okay. A couple of people, one person asked, and I, I lost the comment, that they were inking and they tried to fix the mistake they made in inking with acrylic and it didn't work. Um, well, that's because you used acrylics. Uh, acrylics are evil. <laughs> but uh, hold on a second. I think this is, yeah. Uh, I, I, I would say I don't use acrylics. I use gouache because acrylics are... Uh, shiny and you know they're glossy uh, so they they don't they stand out like a sore thumb on on something like gouache or, or uh, watercolors uh, but I would say chances are the reason why if you're just saying it was not opaque enough you might have added too much water that could be the problem Um, thank you for introducing me to zebra pens. I love them. Oh, aren't they the best? Um, Scott does not run out of ink in the zebra brush pens. Basically, what he does is he, um, he the nibs them when the tips get yeah all mushy. That's a technical term, mushy. Um, have you tried polychromos color pencils? Because this person's asking, what has better quality for anime, Prismacolor or polychromos? I haven't tried polychromos. Mm -mm, no. Um, Shriyashi is missing Octavia. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an inspi I'm an aspiring artist and I really just work for my imagination. I just found myself using a black colored pencil. Is it bad that I am restricting myself? That's never a bad thing. Um, you guys gotta restricting yourself. Bad if you just your I mean, I like to draw with a dark with a black cherry colored pencil. Um, it makes me happy. So if something makes you happy, do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like to write with that writer's blood ink in my fountain pen. Yeah. It makes me happy. Yeah, but it doesn't make the writers happy, but yeah. Well, they just have to give me a little. Would you recommend Crayola watercolors to beginners? Yeah, yeah, just not their watercolor paper. Or their brushes. Yeah, or their brushes. How is Pickle doing? Pickle is doing okay. Um, we slept last night, so thanks for asking, Ellen. I Pickle is our dog. Um, well, her name's not Pickle. Her she's name just... is Arwen. We call her a pickle because she makes me crazy and she's a pickle. And um, she's a big deal. <laughs> she thinks she's a big deal. Um, she's good, though. She's, she's you know. <clears throat> oh, gosh. It's a three-ring circus in our house right now. And um, it's kind of funny because both of our boys are home from college. And Grandma has come to stay. And so um, I think it's a little loud for the dog because she put herself to bed at 7.30 last night while we were all in the dining room playing cards and whooping it up and having a good old time. So um, I don't think she's used to all the action. She's, uh, she's older, so it's kind of funny. Do you have any tips for acrylic, even though you hate it, LOL? Um, I, I don't know if I have tips, but... Um, Definitely, they work like wash in that you want to go with your midtones first, then your shadows, and then come in with the highlights later. And I think that works best. Anne Marie is here. She snuck in from her job. Hey, Anne Marie. Woo, woo. Hey, Anne Marie. Happy winter solstice, everybody. I hope you get this message. Can you do something for Slovakia? I came here from there. I would be very happy to see you make something. Thanks. Um, I could definitely look into it, especially if we ever do another um, some international sort of thing. Something. Yeah. yeah. You got to figure out a 30 day something to do because people now, there's a couple of people who've said, Hey, I have, um, I have a sketchbook. I want to do something with you. So 
Um, we're talking about Monday with the masters and try day Friday to try art supplies. So we're kicking around a few ideas. So we'll, um, I thought it was fart around Friday. Yeah. Scott, what do you recommend for tweens like me who want to show their art to the world, but have no way. Ah! Darn it. I hate it when the comments just jump. Um, but have nowhere to show it or can't show it or I lost it. Completely. Okay. Um, sketchbook, just keep a sketchbook. That is the best thing for you. Uh, you don't have to show your artwork in your tweens. You don't have to show your artwork in your teens. Mm -hmm. Um, keep your sketchbooks though. Yeah. Keep your sketchbooks, yeah. keep every page if you can, because you're going to want to look back and see your growth. Uh, you really, really, really just, this is your time to learn. Ryan, the teacher said, definitely what I teach my kids, draw and practice every day. You know, I, I love that. I love that. Donna will have maybe had two by now. Oh, are you asking how much tea I've had? Literally I'm on my second cup, which is really sad. Usually I've had at least two by now, but I'm on my second cup. Oh, here they are. Um, here's uh, James, but who want to show their arts to the world and have no way to do it because their parents say they're too young to post. They are. Yeah. You you know what? It's okay if, you're, if your parents yeah. don't want you to post. We didn't want our boys on social media at all either. Um, it's it, problematic sometimes. But anyway. But yeah, sketch and draw and do all those things. And You know, you're lucky that you have parents that are encouraging you to do that. Yeah. They just don't want you on social media and that's really okay. Honestly, um, you know, but I know it's rough because you want to show the world, um, but yeah. trust me, um, yeah. take this time to just improve. Yeah. And just draw every day, draw at lunch, draw, you know, wherever you are, always have a sketchbook. It's so funny. One of my friends, her son, um, is your guys' age. He's, he's 14 and, um, he, um, you've seen him on here, um, gooey, and he just draws all the time. That kid never goes anywhere without a sketchbook and a pencil. Never. Yeah. And it's great. And his mom really encourages him and, and you know, he just draws everything. And so when, great. so when you do get a social media account, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll, you'll kind of come in ahead of the game. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have tons of stuff you can post. Hey, we've got a Richard. Hey Richard. Good morning. Sorry, I don't know if this part is boring for you all, just watching me do um, this. Um, Danya says, hey, Scott, I'm 13 years old from the USA, and your channel and art inspired me to be able to get over art block. Oh, Yay! that's great. I really hope that you find this message because I would love to thank you for it. Oh, oh thank you. That's awesome. We're so happy to hear that. So happy to hear that. Eldon is here and says, good morning. And hello, says, good Hi, morning. Hi, Eldon. Um, Requeer says, hi, Scott, I've been watching for a bit and I love your art and videos a lot. Thank you. Um, PLR says, I just joined and may I say you were an inspiration and I wish I could one day be like you. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Hey, Scott, I drew you. It's on my channel. I'm only 13 and you're my idol. Love from me. Oh, because, yeah. well, I look forward to seeing it. Hopefully you tagged me. Um, yes, you have to tag him or he won't see it because so many people post stuff, so. Uh, do you know when commissions will be open again? No, we don't. I don't. It I, I am very busy right now, yeah, and commissions so are usually just when I happen to have a little bit of time. They take a lot of time. What's your dream dog? Dream dog? And this question is for both of you, by the way. Oh, um, yeah. Gosh, Snoopy? Oh, God, Snoopy's great. You know, I'm, I know this is going to sound kind of like pathetic, but um, Arwen, our dog, is really my dream dog. And that's just because, like, <laughs> Scott, the, Scott and the boys always joke that um, I'm her whole world. And yeah. I really, it's, it's, I really am. It's she disgusting. Just, she just looks at me like, I just love you, Mom. And to have that kind of un, like, just... What's the word? Like, unconditional love. Unconditional love. You like, started it. I know. I, 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 I couldn't finish it. Anyway, it's just really cool. So, um, oh boy, Donna, I'm sure that Scott's told you this a million times, but you're drop dead gorgeous. Thank you. That's very sweet. Um, 
and um, they want to, I don't know how you want to know. I, the comment just totally jumped probably because they didn't want me to read it, which is fine. Um, thank you. You're very sweet. And um, wow. All right. So to share. I don't know. I don't, I drink wine and I don't smoke and I don't do drugs. There you go. All right. I am going to add so some trees. And I like these kind of trees in the back. Um, let's see. Oh, Amaya, this is the first time coming to one of your live streams. Well, welcome. Welcome. Your art always inspires me to get the details. Um, and your content is just chef's kiss. They wrote uh, just moi, chef's uh, kiss. <laughs> thank That's you. Cute. Old sketchbooks are so much fun to look back on. I, they got they me, are. right? So I'm going to try to do something like this. See, like this little indication of trees yeah. in the background. So I'm going to do something oh, like that. Draw the draw boy. The animation noob says, "I asked Santa for the twenty-five dollar watercolor set, and I'm happy you made this possible. That's so cute. Oh, that's great. I love it. Wow, bagels are here. Did you take grandma? Oh man, she um, get does she get lots of uh, uh, honey? We have questions. Cream cheese, right? Um. We'll be up in a minute. Wait, hold on. No, I want my... Listen, they had one plain bagel left, and Grandma ordered first, so she got the last plain bagel, okay. and she feels really bad, and she doesn't want you to hate her, so don't be mean. Okay, so sorry. Our son came back with bagels. Honey, bagel. I mean, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm so... She just, she's afraid you're going to hate her because she took the last plain bagel. Okay, stop. Just be... no, oh, she's she's can I have my onion see, bagel? Give Dad a bagel for God's <laughs> He's sake. teasing me. He's got a big <laughs> bag of bagels. And he's telling you, but first, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh God, not the the story. Give him the dog mind bagel. Hey, I need you to be nice when you go up there. That's all. It's oh my, my mom. Here. Wait, well, wait, not wait, you. Wait. I don't worry about you. Okay. Wait, I got a here? bagel. Is Santa here? I don't see him. I don't see him. Hey, Santa's here. Santa's here. Thank Yay. Thank you for joining, Santa. I know you're so. Oh, my gosh. It's like three days. Like three days and seven hours. Okay. Um, Thank you, Logan. Where oh, can I get a stencil like that? You just have to go and find a stencil. I did add a link to some stencils in our um, on my art supplies list. Apparently, Siri can help us find stencils. Do you do any warm up drawing exercises, babe? <laughs> no, no. Oh, Santa says we need a fun Saba family Christmas special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Well, so Santa, hopefully today we can uh, show everybody our video. Santa and I collaborated. Yeah. And it is really fun. So I'm looking forward to posting that. Oh, Tabitha says hi, Scott. I'm 15 and I have COVID. And this dream made me feel much less lonely and isolated. Love hearing your family banter and seeing the chat makes me so happy. Oh, thank you. I hope you feel better. I feel better very soon. Yeah. Oh, Logan reveal. Uh-uh. Neither <laughs> one of our kids wants to be on camera at all. Um, Marisha, hi. Um, let's see. Yeah, Scott's not going to try oil paints. Um, yep. Let's see. That's not going to happen. Um, the Animal Crackers movie poster took about 11 or 16 weeks, something like that. We, we keep disagreeing on how long it was. I think it was 14 Your weeks. Your family is iconic. Our family is something. We're not quite sure what that is yet, but our family is something. Stafford goes, now I want bagels. <laughs> Look at, okay. <laughs> you guys, this is half of a bagel, and this is the size of my hand. Yeah. We found this new place, H&S Bagels, in, in downtown in Nashville, Nashville, and it's just crazy. So, yeah, they're good, though. Oh, my God, they're so good. And uh, it's okay. Cream cheese is the best bagel topper, no excuses. Ooh, fight me. I like it <laughs> toasted with butter. Fight me, fight me. Okay, so fair warning. If anybody buys this painting and it smells like onion, You'll you know why. why. Asterisk, may smell like onion bagel. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. 
Um, organic Tomato says a huge thank you for being you. Your videos help me get back into art and to help my anxiety. Oh, your fun, funny, kind message is like Mr. Rogers, but better. Thank you, Donna, for being real and hilarious. Oh, thank um, you. You know what? We are nothing if not real, and we are hilarious in real life as well. We're, we're something in real life. We're not sure what that is. Um, honestly, you're one of the most talented people I've seen in your art. is amazing. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Know, you. you guys have made it possible for us to be here in the mornings, and you've given us um, you've given us a schedule and 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 something to look forward to, and we really appreciate that because it's um, I think the last couple of years it's been really fun to come here and be with art people and be with people who just want to draw and and make art and do beautiful things. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's awesome. And we're grateful to you guys. Believe me. We really are. Um, I've sent you some artwork in your Instagram DMs. Can you check them out? Uh, we will try. I get hundreds of days. So I do my best, but yeah. if I don't, please don't take it personally. It just means yeah. that I just haven't seen it. There are just so many messages every day, you guys. So many messages. Really, the best way to get to us is through the Discord um, because Scott can reply back that way. Um, yeah. Um, I just looked and saw it's 10 20. Oh my God, is it really? I haven't even gotten to oh the God. color of the background. Even... Oh my God. We might be finishing this on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas for the first page on the new sketchbook. Yeah, so I've got a couple videos on that. Mm -hmm. But I always like to find something fun to draw, something that I'll, is yep. a little nicer mm -hmm. to look back on. Yep. I have a poem about writing that I put into the first page. I print it out in a different color and I put it in the first page of um, my new writing journal every time. And it makes me happy. It's always fun to do something nice like that. Hey, Brandy B says we can have more of work and then I can start painting again. Yay. Oh, good. And you don't do any warm up exercises anymore. No. I know. Sorry, guys. Now everybody wants a bagel. Scott oil painted a long time ago, like high school, and uh, he's not going to oil paint again. But you need to follow Bethany Primrose. Um, she does oil painting. And Guari Debbie, I don't see a comment from you. And you said you wanted an answer. Oh, wait. Uh, it's me and Nerva chatting by my grandma's phone. Well, how am I supposed to know it's you if you're on your grandma's phone crying out loud? Do you use charcoals? Not anymore. I used to in college when we would do figure drawing. Oh. But charcoal is always a very temporary medium. And so it's not something that, you know, we, we took to, to be something we would use Long term. Long term, yeah. Best colored pencils to layer with alcohol markers. Uh, uh, for me, if you say, if you ask best colored pencils, is always going to, the answer is always going to be um, Prismacolors because that is just. Oh, ouch. Butter is basic. It's yeah. really like basic. What's wrong with that? Hello? I'm a very basic kind of girl, let me tell you. They don't get more basic than me. And Lula says, your son telling you not to be mean reminds me of my four-year-old daughter telling me not to be rotten. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's great, Lula. That's hysterical. Wow, butter is basic. That, that just hurts to <laughs> Ooh, somebody called me basic. Um, what tips do you have for a new watercolor artist, honey? Uh, work light to dark, and please, please, please get watercolor paper. That's going to affect your work the most. Ronan made a mistake and threw out their old art a few months ago. They feel guilty. Has this happened to you? No, I've never regretted throwing out my artwork. Um, I, I do recommend keeping a majority of your artwork, even the mess ups for posterity's sake. So you could look back and see how well, how well you've improved. But uh, I have never ever felt guilty about throwing away a piece. Um, he ripped up a piece at one point, and somebody said, "Give it to me! I'll make a puzzle out of it." And so we did. We sent it. To, I literally threw pieces in an envelope. It was kind of funny. 
Um, Richard says, why am I hungry every time I look at this painting? <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yes, says Big Bagel with Onion Painting, ha ha. That's yeah. exactly what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call this the Big Bagel with Onion Painting. Seriously, I'm not kidding. That's, uh, that's what we're gonna post it as. Um, what is an aqua board and why is it so difficult? Mm -hmm. We have the same question yeah. on Monday and I did yeah. answer it. And um, aqua board is like masonite mm -hmm. with a really, really nice finish on top. So you could do anything from colored pencils to acrylics, to gouache, to watercolor. It's got a really nice finish. However, if you're going to put it in the mail, I highly recommend putting it in a box. Yeah, they don't office, ship well. No, they don't ship well. Pack it really, really well if you're sending it to someone. Marisha says, you are the only reason I still do art. Oh. Well, we're glad you're here and we're glad you're doing art. Um, let's see, where do you keep all of your paintings? And have one of your paintings ever been destroyed? Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, they have and not lost. By anybody, not by anybody in the house, usually by the post office. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've had them lost and I keep them mm -hmm. in my, um, here, yeah, here in the flat file in the, in the Hobbit hole. We have a giant cabinet. That Which you guys have seen before. It has drawers at the bottom and tiny drawers on the top. You made me get into art and inspired me to draw. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I want to eat a blueberry muffin when I look at this painting. Not in the <laughs> I'm a young artist and trying to get into realism. That's Margaret. Oh, that's great. Um, when's the next time you'll be back? Friday morning. Friday at morning. Central time. And the post office losing your art was terrible. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then having them say they're not going to insure it. Um, can you ask Scott if I can still comment from... I don't know what that is. From what? I, I don't know. Jay says he can be cry. Um, whatever the snack breakfast looks delicious. Do you have, we do not have a Patreon. Um, you can... Um, support us by clicking on the links on YouTube. That is the most helpful thing. Um, yeah, we're, YouTube is doing very well for us. Yes. And yes. you don't have to support us in any way other than just, just coming by link. and saying hi. Yeah. 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 But um, we, we appreciate it. Just, just, yeah. just being a kind person is oh, payment enough. Please just go out in the world. And the world needs a little other. more kindness. Oh my God, hold the door for somebody or, you know, smile and say good morning. Or compliment somebody. another artist. Yeah, yes. Artists are our own worst artists. enemies, so. Yep. Encourage people. Yeah. You know, just encourage people. Okay, so, um, let's see. I've got four minutes. Um, Scott's not going to use oil paints. I'm going to recommend you to Bethany Primrose's um, um, channel because she uses oil paints. Scott has videos where he's only used a ballpoint pen to draw. That is correct. You can check that in the um, video reviews and in the art hacks. He's done stuff like that. Um, let's see. All right. Before we go, what palette, what range of colors do you like? This yellow and blue with some green. Yellows, pinks, and blues. Is that going to match the painting you're already doing, though? We're just looking. Oh. In that case, I like the other one with the, with the, the first one you showed. These are more reds and yellows, or reds and oranges and yellows. I don't like this. These have uh, some nice purples and blues in here. I like more of a magenta. This is, these are nice. This is a nice palette here. It's got greens and oranges. So this is another way that you can steal from another artist mm -hmm. by getting insp inspired by their color palette. Like look at yeah, look at the purples those and yellows and I like, oranges. I have those I like. Do you go light to dark or dark? Oh, you know what? That's that's a Bethany question. Greens and browns. Um, people like purples and blues, yellows and oranges. Go for green, brown, light yellow, purples and blues, blues, yellows and pinks, pink and blue, yellows and greens. I really like the yellow and blue, pink and blue. I definitely like the yellow and oranges. With the hair, the pinks and the blues. 
Can you put a list of artists we should follow on your main page? Um, <clears throat> we have a list of books. Uh, but if you're saying to follow, like... Um, you mean like on YouTube or something? Yeah, I, I mean, I could try to do that. Um. All right, I think... Those are nice, that kind of sunset kind of. What's the paint color you use the most? Um, probably Windsor Orange, because I do a lot of skin tone um, with it. Taylor, start an art hacks playlist, and that should give you some information on a little bit about art in general. So here's the thing. She is mostly cool colors, other than her face, which is warm colors. Mm -hmm. But mostly kind of coolish colors. Which is um, pinks and blues would be good. So yeah, so either I keep that or I do a different color to contrast that. So I go warm in the background, but I think, yeah, I think cooler colors might be good. So you wanna try this kind of palette? Yeah, I like that one. Thank you for teaching us to use colored pencils. I used to be scared to color, but you encouraged me. My pleasure, my pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your work. Yeah. So let's see. Um, this so this is my I... first stream. I love your art. Excited to see the process you inspired me. Thank you. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is how about on Friday? I think I'm gonna use not watercolor for the background, but I think I will use the radiant dyes. The watercolors. Yeah, the the radiant uh, concentrated watercolors. Oh God, help us all. Please, please, please just keep the lids on and don't so shake them let's, over let's the painting. Let's pick our palette. Okay. We have green. What do you guys think for Greg the palette? Says, can you tell Scott I love his art and he inspires me? Oh, thank you. Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, right? I think yeah. a little bit of pink if we can find it, but I don't know if I can. Um, oh, <laughs> Steph Nerd says, oh dear, Chaos Friday. Bethany says, please don't spill it. <laughs> all right. You tell that they've been here and we all have PTSD from when Scott spilled, our, uh, spilled egg last time. This will be our, our background colors for okay. now Friday. Okay, the painting and stand them up. Thank you very much, because you're making me nervous. And Brandon says it's whimsical Wednesday. If you spill it, tears will be shed. Oh, you have no idea. There's still orange ink on the floor, you guys. Henry says anything orange still gives me flashbacks. <laughs> Seriously, you're laughing, but this is this is a thing. You scarred a lot of us for life. <laughs> the painting came out fine. Yes, you, 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 yeah. What about acrylics he has then? He's not fond of acrylics. And we've still got to try those colored pencils and clay. Yes. Oh, Emma's 100%. Yep. So uh, I am. First the torture mouth supplies and now this. <laughs> so I am hoping that um, uh, later today, maybe within the next few hours or whatever, uh, Santa and I will be posting a collaboration. Two yeah. videos for the price of one. So uh, I will be posting the first part and he will be posting the second part at the same time. Bethany says, I almost died that day because I choked on my breakfast when I gasped. <laughs> all right. So thank you all. And I'm going to finish the rest of yeah, this bagel. Scott casually giggling at our trauma. <laughs> That's what he does. That's what he does. He goes for chaos. All right, guys, um, we are so happy that you joined us today, and thank you for putting up with our technical difficulties at the beginning. I'm going to go have some more tea and um, have a lovely day with your bagel. Um, and look out for our um, star, yeah. my post with Santa Claus today. Yep, yep. you're going to have to follow Scott and Santa because Santa's got one part of the video and Scott's got another part of the video. So go give Santa some love, you guys. And we will see you all on Friday. All right? Have a very happy winter solstice. Everybody and we love stay, you all. Yeah, stay warm. And we love you guys. Put on a big, thick sweater. It's going to get colder. Bye, everybody.